wow, chicka wow, wow. Time now for Great Day Fitness. We made it to February, and right about now is when so many of us did just start giving up on the resolutions. Do you remember what you said? Do you remember the resolution that you made? That's a good question. So people are like, wait, what did I say? Yeah, what did I say? I don't even remember. <laughs> Joe Carabas is here to remind us what we did. Well, if it's with fitness solutions. Maybe the thing is that you're going to actually work out more and do something consistent. But you're trying to show us that it's easy. I don't know. You have cans of beans with I you. I have cans of beans. Well, look, if you, like so many other people, fall into the trap of setting an audacious big goals, no worries. Like, it happens. Like, it's well-intended. However, can be hard to maintain. So today, we're going to show you an upper body and a lower body workout. You can do with anything, even cans. And Scott will be body weight. A what? Yeah. Huh? Oh, oh, you're going to do body weight. So, all right. So here's what we're going to do. So oh, one of the best ways to work out consistently is through making it as efficient as possible. So you have to do, you don't have to do as much. So we're going to layer in movement here. So we're going to have Kara hold these cans, which can also be weight, out, right. arms out straight. Okay, so if you're making dinner, just before you start... And we do some cam exercises. Stop that movement. I want those arms straight. There oh, we go. Okay. All right, now squeeze your butt, squeeze your abs, tuck your ribs. So get super tight here. Now we're going to hold this. Keep holding. Now, Scott, we're going to hold the squat. So butt, back, oh, chest up. Sweet Marie. I know. I know. Can you believe it? There you go. Awesome. Now keep that chest up. So this is the first part of the movement. We got a static squat hold. We have a static lateral raise. Now, Scott, yes. you're going to stay in that squat. Step awesome. your left foot out. Step my left foot out. <laughs> and your left foot right in. Foot and in. my left foot your in. Your right foot you out. Do the hokey pokey. And your right foot in. Turn. Now, Kara, we're going to go forward and back. Forward, slow, slow. Wow, this is slow. really intense. All right, well, going to stay down. Why do we down. have to do slow instead of fast? Well, when you, especially when you're using lighter weight, it uses a higher concentration of muscle. And so it makes you contract the muscle better, essentially, and slow, even slower. And what's good about it, too, is it helps with form. So oh often people are moving, so will you get, get back in that squat, man? We're almost done. All right, I'm now, not allowed to set the cans now, down. Now, next movement for Scott, you're going to go into a squat, hold the squat, but reverse lunge right. Reverse lunge. Oh, I know. I know. And then, Kara, we're going to go here. Arms out straight. Keep those arms out. But then you go in, in, out. And just keep doing that. Next time, keep that I'm chest wearing up. the heels. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that's all on you. But hey, here's the thing. So we're layering in movement now. You can do each of these for 20 seconds and then build upon it. So we did three different movements, 20, 20, 20. Then you could rest. And you don't, again, seconds. body weight. You don't need to have a whole gym. No, and you don't need a lot of time. That's the most important thing. So often we get caught in our own schedule because we are all so busy and stressed these days. But if you can carve out even five minutes, and yes, five minutes, you can get a lot done. You can but get five minutes, people say, oh, that's not even worth it. Why is it worth it to do five minutes? It's all about frequency, not intensity, especially in a stressful world that we live in. All of our stress is here, especially post-COVID, right? And so you think about how your body actually changes. It's through recovery. If you're not recovering from your workouts, then you're not getting the benefit that you want. So going super hard can interfere with your recovery. So shorter is actually better in a sense that it requires less recovery, but it keeps you going, keeps you moving. Okay. Get those arms out straight. Hold them out. Right. There you go. So I, I know you actually have five-minute workouts you do on Coach Joe TV, but, like, there's even if, you, if people could sign up for that. But I, I, I've noticed if you Google on YouTube, if you just put, like, five-minute weight workout or five-minute body workout, there's all kinds of stuff out there that if you want to be <laughs> guided, right? Like you could, If you want to be guided, at, like, all, I, on CoachJoe.tv, I have guided five-minute, 10-minute, 15, 20, 25, you name it, workouts. However... Honestly, even if you just know exercises that you know and like, whatever that is, whatever you feel comfortable with, start there. Like the 30, 30, 30, you taught me that. Yes. 30 squats, 30 push-ups, 30 sit-ups. Like just, just do Not that. 30 sit-ups. So I think it was like mountain climbers. Oh, There's okay. so many of them. But it doesn't matter. Right. It doesn't matter. The idea is simplicity. You want to remove whatever friction is in a way between you, where you are right now, and where you want to be. Right. And that and starts. So many people set these lofty goals, and that's why they don't finish them, because they're just out of control. Yeah, it's that saboteur energy within us that pushes us away from things that are really good for us and pulls things that are not so good towards us. And setting big goals is actually a saboteur mechanism. So you got to be aware of that. I, I like, you know, the, we talked about this the other day, lose a pound a week. That's, that's attainable. And at the end of 52 weeks, I've lost 52 pounds. Okay, that's yeah. one way of looking at it, but that's not always not always a linear path when it comes to weight loss, as so many of you know. So what I would say instead, focus on process-oriented goals. So rather than one pound a week, I'm going to do three workouts this week. Okay. If you do three workouts this week, three workouts next, you keep patterning that before long, you're going to be in a then completely... Then it'll be easy to add four if you want. 100%, or... and then you'll blink and you'll wait 
and everything, your waist, everything will be better What's where you want What's coming it. up for you? What are you up to these days? We got tons of amazing weight loss programs for people of all fitness levels. We have our body fat spot reduction that is non-invasive, yeah. and we would love to help at DefineWellnessCenter.com. I got to try it. It's very warm, and you leave, and there are inches gone. Visit <laughs> DefineWellnessCenter.com. He's got a great spice right in Glastonbury. Joe can help you with your, um, with your diet and with your workouts and with losing fat. Yeah, especially yeah. that stubborn fat. The stubborn fat. Whoa, ho, ho, totally crazy. Scott's going out tonight, Short so he's all pumped up. Hot, gee, but up, up, oh. <laughs> I want to see four is coming up next. Have a great day, everyone. Take it. Pow.